Hi, my name is Gary. I'm the product manager for the combustion analysis and engine control products here at National Instruments. And I'm here today to demonstrate driven C-series modules for engine control and the driven combustion analysis toolkit in action. I've got two laptops here with me. Both are running different programs. One of them is connected to the Compact Frio inside of this yellow box demonstrating engine control. And the other is connected to the Compact DAC chassis demonstrating combustion analysis. What we're using today is a compact Rio chassis full of driven C-series modules for interfacing directly with the engine's subsystems and actuators. In this demonstration, we're controlling the fuel injectors, the spark plugs, and the electronic throttle in sync with a vehicle model that we're running on the compact Rio itself. What you'll hear as I turn it on is the actual firing of the spark plugs and the fuel injectors. So let me go ahead and do that now so you can hear it running. Now let's take a look at what's going on in software. If we look at the fuel control tables here, you can actually see the value is adjusting in real time as the engine speed changes. These other tabs like spark control and throttle control are for looking at your calibration parameters that you set up for the engine. While this program is written using LabVIEW, you can use your favorite model-based software for programming the application using NI Veristand. For more information on the engine subsystems that we're able to interface with, please refer to ni.com slash engine control. A real differentiator with the driven products is our ability to interface with direct injectors quite easily. Using the driven direct injector driver module, we can actually control solenoid or piezoelectric direct injectors. The open software platform based on LabVIEW FPGA actually allows us to shape the injector waveform according to the application. Using LabVIEW FPGA and the onboard field programmable gate array on the Compact Rio, we can even fire multiple injection pulses per combustion cycle. It also allows us to get involved in some really advanced engine research, including some low temperature combustion engines like homogeneous charge compression ignition and some of its variants. Combustion analysis consists of two main ideas. First, you have to sample in-cylinder pressures relative to engine position as opposed to relative to time. What you're looking at here is a cylinder pressure versus crank angle plot. Now to a combustion engineer, the shape and the placement and the height of this curve is quintessential to successful combustion. The second part of combustion analysis is real-time sampling of the pressures tightly synchronized to the engine. Normally the synchronization happens on a sub-crank angle basis and can tax a regular processor pretty heavily. At the heart of the driven combustion analysis system is an FPGA or a field programmable gate array and this allows us to really get some tight synchronization as needed for this in-cylinder pressure sensing. In this demonstration what we're doing is simulating the cam and crank signals on the compact Rio in the yellow box and we're reading that data over on the compact DAC chassis for the combustion analysis. On this screen, you can see the combustion analysis happening in real time as the engine is running. Using this position and pressure data, we can calculate combustion parameters of interest such as the heat release rate, the location of mass fraction burned, and pressure rise rate. We can plot these in multiple tabs on the customizable user interface. While most engine control and combustion analysis systems typically operate independently from each other, the powerful Rio technology that National Instruments offers allows us to combine both systems into a single rack capable of some advanced control regimes such as next cycle and same cycle control where we're actually using the combustion analysis parameters in the engine control algorithms. For more questions about these products, please refer to ni.com slash engine control.